Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Winter Garden, Florida. And the reason why we are in Winter Garden, Florida is because we're gonna do a little bit of uh, thrifting today. Look at this, there's an airboat over here. I feel like now that I'm in Florida, I've got to uh, to eventually get onto to one of these, right? I've gotta do an airboat tour one of these days. I'm, I'm a Floridian, I feel like it's a, it's a must now, right? Anyway, all right, so. We're here in Winter Garden, Florida. We're gonna do a little bit of thrifting here at the the Winter Garden Goodwill. It's been a week, two weeks. It's been it's been longer than a week, I would say, since I've been to this Goodwill. So we're gonna pop in. We're gonna see what we can find. Of course, as per usual, I'm hoping to find some good deals on movies. Wouldn't mind finding a vinyl mation or two. Maybe some ears for for Danielle, and then who knows what else. We'll look around. We'll see what they have. Maybe some cool Halloween decor. You never know. We are here though, at the Goodwill. We're gonna find something. I can feel it. I'm, 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 I'm guaranteeing it, teeing it. We're gonna find something good for me personally. Maybe some things to resell, but definitely something for me, hopefully, personally. All right, so the first thing I see when I walk in is this pair of um, maybe like flapper ears. These are cool, but I'm thinking they're not in the best condition. It looks like the um, the the um, feather. I was gonna say flower. No, not not flower. That feather has been like broken off. You can see at one point. I bet it came way out here. Kind of had like a flapper sort of feel going on. I know Danielle does not have these ears. I would totally pick those up for her. But in that condition, I'm just gonna have to. Uh, oh yeah. In this condition, I'm just gonna have to pass. Probably why these are still here because they're not in the best condition. Cool though. I'm gonna take this as a sign. I walk into the store, I immediately see a cool pair of ears. That, that's gotta be a good sign, right? I mean, they're broken, but still, it's gotta be a good sign. All right, moving on to the uh, the Halloween stuff up front. I'm not really seeing anything jumping out at me. I think at this point, all the good Halloween stuff has probably been bought up. Although look at the, the weird <laughs> pumpkin guy. I kinda like him. I'm thinking he's homemade. Oh yeah, he's definitely homemade. That's the, Those are pipe cleaners there. I like him. He's cool. I don't know who made this, but that's that's pretty neat. I almost feel bad that somebody took the time to make this with the, with the googly eyes and everything, and now it's here at a um, at a Goodwill. That's that's sad. I wonder why that's here. That is cool. That is neat. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> I don't know. Tempting, but probably just gonna pass on those. And I lied. There's three of them. What are these all about? They're, whoa! There's a family. There is a family of these weird pumpkins. <laughs> okay, these are kind of tempting. I'm probably just gonna pass when they're, uh, they ask an eight a piece. No, well, that's weird. That one, why are they all different? That one's $8. This one's $6. That one's also $6. Six, looks like a lot of them are six, but one of them is randomly eight. I don't know, that's weird. That's cool. Again, kind of tempting, but I'm probably just gonna pass. All right, so let's see what they got over here in the uh, the Disney section. And wow, they've got a ton of these Happy Meal toys. These were some of the coolest Happy Meal toys that that McDonald's ever did because they came in these these packages that look like old Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection VHS clamshell cases. These are cool. They've got like a whole set of them here. I don't know how many of these there were. I don't know if this is the full set. I'm pretty sure there were a lot of these, but th this could be the full set for all I know. And some of them, like Pete's Dragon, Sword in the Stone, Lion King, Three Caballeros, these have never even been like open. It still has the plastic on them. That is cool to see. They're asking yeesh, $5 a piece for these. I mean, I don't know. Look at look at that. That is so cool. These are awesome. Yeah, these these are pretty amazing. I love it. I love the, the fact that the uh, the Sword in the Stone comes with Merlin. That is cool. The, yeah, these are pretty neat. I'm very, very, very tempted to pick these up, but not at not at five a piece. I don't really need these. Pretty cool to see though. Again, one of one of the coolest Happy Meal toys, if if not the coolest Happy Meal toy that uh, McDonald's ever made. But again, I don't need them. I'm gonna pass on them. Maybe if it was like a full set for like really cheap, I'd pick them up. But nah, I'm just gonna pass. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any vinyl mations up here. There is a resistance BB unit, which is strangely very, very heavy and uh, and Ray. I don't really do Funko Pops anymore, so don't really need need them. I do enjoy the oh, it's it's plastic. It's not. I thought it was I thought it was glass. I was gonna say I really do enjoy the um, the Germany 
Epcot Pavilion mug, but it's, again, it's plastic, not glass. As far as ears are concerned, I believe these are all bootleg ones, homemade ones. These are not, but Danielle already has ears like that. I like the strange world. You know what? I actually have never watched that movie. I own that movie. I'm just realizing now I have never watched that Disney movie. I have it. I've never got around to watching it. I got to do that. Maybe today I'll check that movie out. We already have a pair of, uh, of those. They have two pairs of them. Are these legit? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, the, these are interesting. These are actual legit ears for uh, for nine dollars. I wonder if Danielle wants those. I've never seen these before. She doesn't necessarily do the um, the hats as much. She prefers just the standard kind of like headband ears like this. But that's different. Okay. Well, sadly, no vital mations or Halloween that I want to pick up up front. I did send Danielle a picture of the uh, ears. We'll see if she wants those. But so far, nothing. But that, that's all right. We got the, we got the rest of the store. We're heading back towards media. We're gonna find something. I'm keeping that power of positivity alive. So, all right, diving into the media section now, which looks like it maybe has been somewhat picked through, not exactly full, but there are still a ton of DVDs here. There are some Blu-rays up there. All those, I believe, slightly overpriced, uh, yeah, 15 bucks a piece. Copies of um, Seasons of Murder, She Wrote, are still here. They've gotta drop the price down on those, or they're gonna continue to be here forever. So, all right, again, it's been, it's been somewhat picked through, but there's a lot here. And there's gotta be something I need. I'm unfortunately beginning to think that maybe the season six of Better Call Saul I picked up from here like a week or two ago might actually be a bootleg. Comments down below, maybe it's not. Maybe this is legit, I don't know. But the reason why I'm now questioning it is because there's a whole bunch of, of these up here, which are also season six. This is a, oh wait, no, no, hold on. These are a four-year consideration release of season six. Oh, okay. That's what makes these different. So are these like the legit release of season six? And these are the the four-year consideration release of season six? I, I guess. Okay, all right, all right. I don't feel as scared now. Maybe this is actually a legit release. I mean, it's full of special features, things like that. I don't know, leave, leave the comments down below. I do have a copy of this, so I don't, I don't need that. But that's a whole lot of four-year consideration releases of um, of season six. All right, anyway, okay, I feel better. I, I don't think my copy's a bootleg. It might still be, but I don't think it is. There's a few more copies of the uh, four-year consideration releases over here as well. They also have Star Trek Strange New Worlds season one. Two copies of those, one with the slip, one without, but I do already have that, don't need that. And this is cool. For a while, I was looking for a copy of Wild America by itself. I had it in a multi-feature set. I Do I still have that multi-feature set? If I don't, I, I want it back now. This is a great, great movie, but I, I know I already have this in my collection. I already found a standalone copy. I think actually I do have the, uh, the multi-feature set still in my possession. So pretty cool. Awesome. Now that I don't need it, of course, I'm, I'm finding more copies of it because that's pretty much how that always works out. All right. So unfortunately, I'm not really finding much of anything I want to pick up. They do have some more copies of the uh, the Better Call Saul, but again, I don't need those. I want to pass on them. They did, however, have not one, not two, but three different shoe shawl. I'm, I'm saying that right, right? XUXA shoe shawl releases. These, you know, you know, for for the for the kids. <laughs> anyway, these are really, really awesome, and I would totally pick these up for uh, for my Macari store if they were in good condition, because I've sold some of these. I've sold a lot of these actually in the past. Apparently, uh, Shoe Shawl is um, sought after. These releases, people people like them, but uh, they're not in good condition. They are they are in terrible condition. The discs are completely destroyed. Is Shoe Shawl even like a thing anymore? I remember like they, they tried to bring her into, into the States. She didn't last very long, but I know over, um, where is it? Was it Spain? Or where? I don't know where she's from. Anyway, wherever she's from, I believe, uh, or maybe it's down south. I honestly don't remember. I could be totally wrong about that. Comments down below. Where is Shushaw from? She's from somewhere outside the United States. Comments down below. But um, I remember she she was pretty pretty popular down there, and I think she might still be. I don't I don't know. Comments down below. Shushaw still a thing? Not a thing? I have no idea. Again, I would pick these up, but uh, in the condition they're in. I'm just gonna have to uh, to pass. Sorry, sorry, kids. 
Brazil. Shushal is Brazilian. That is where she is from. I knew it was either somewhere across the sea or um, or somewhere down south. It was it was down south, Brazil. That is where she's from. So, anyway, <laughs> that's gonna do it for the uh, media section. There is nothing there I want to pick up for me. Nothing for the store again, with the exception of those shoe shawl DVDs, but just not in that condition. So, so far we're. We're a bit of a bust, not really finding anything today yet. But that is the key word, yet. We're not finding anything yet. There's still so much more to look through, all kinds of other Halloween things and, and whatnot. They got, they got Christmas coming out now. So, like I said, we haven't found anything else yet, but maybe if this was not dented, that would be really cool. Look at the, the Mickey tin here. I love this. That is actually really awesome. Honestly, for five bucks, if this was in good condition, I would totally pick this up, but it's pretty well scratched up. It's pretty well dented up. So I'm gonna pass on the uh, on the Mickey. That's a shame though, because I, I really like this. Okay, so this is actually pretty awesome. I just kind of hit the jackpot. I I was, again, looking through the movies, found nothing. As I was looking through the movies and the, the CDs, there was a lady over here going through all the records and she just stopped going through them. So I kind of assumed, Probably nothing good, probably nothing really worth even taking a look at, but she left, I came over, I started digging, and right away I'm finding cool things like Billy Joel here, they got a bunch of Frank Sinatra, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in here that's really, really tempting. I'm gonna be good though, and I'm gonna pick up just what's what's down here. So I, I'm I'm also really tempted by the Billy Joe, B Billy Joe, Billy Joel, this is, that, that's not the least singer of, uh, of Green Day, Billy Joel. This is cool, but uh, I would probably just want like a greatest hits of, uh, of Billy Joel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up passing on that, but I am gonna get these. The Righteous Brothers, you've lost that love and feeling. I just picked this up on CD recently. That is really cool. Definitely grabbing that. The soundtrack to Top Gun. I mean, yeah, obviously picking this up. Kenny Loggins alone has me sold on this, but the music, the, this, this movie is just so good. That is really cool. The soundtrack to Cocktail, definitely picking that up. And I'm also grabbing Elvis's Golden Records. This is a whole bunch of, uh, basically a, a greatest hits of um, of Elvis. So at only $2 a piece, which is actually surprisingly kind of low for, um, for pricing stuff at this Goodwill, that is awesome. I am definitely grabbing all these records for, uh, for our record collection. That is cool. All of these are in pretty darn good condition. Top Gun was a little scratched, but should be good. Yeah, I got it at two bucks a piece. This is pretty cool. Again, I, I, I saw that lady going through the, the records, kind of assumed that there's nothing over there. If there was, she would have bought it. Who knows, maybe she did pick some things up. Maybe she got some good stuff as well, but I'm, I'm happy with the scraps. Oh my gosh, has it actually happened? Have I actually just found a Blu-ray player with remote for Sean? I think I did. They're only asking, what's that say? Six dollars, five ninety nine, I believe is what that says. And again, it does come with, uh, yeah, that is the correct remote with a Samsung remote for the Samsung player. That is awesome. Now, I don't know if this works. You, you always take a chance when it comes to things like this at a Goodwill. You never know why this is here. Did somebody just get out of owning physical media and just start streaming and that's why this is here? Or maybe it uh, it crapped out on them and that's that's why it's here now. You, you, you never know. This might work, this might not work. I don't think it's actually been tested, but for, um, for six bucks, for $5.99, I'm gonna pick this up for uh, for Sean. Again, I've been looking for a Blu-ray player for his bedroom, and this one at least seems to be in pretty good condition. Hopefully it works. So yeah, the fact that it has its remote, that has me sold. I'm buying this. I'm kind of happy that I think this is just uh, homemade because I'm, I'm loving this uh, back to school. I, I, I don't know, picture, print, poster, whatever you wanna call this. Florida State, I get noble respect. Rodney Thornton Dangerfield, PhD, FSU alumni graduate from the School of Hard Knocks, but that's very pixelated. So I'm guessing this was just made by somebody, but they did have a he they did a heck of a job. I'm very I'm very confused by this because it looks partially cheap, but also very well matted and framed. And the fact that it has the the plaque and everything, somebody put some time and effort into this. I don't know what this is. That is cool. That's actually again kind of tempting to to pick up. What's it say on the back here? Hobby, no, it's from Hobby, oh, framed. Framed by the Hobby Lobby, so okay. So yeah, this is like homemade, but somebody spent some money at the Hobby Lobby to get it to look pretty nice. That is cool, <laughs> that's neat. But 
again, it, it's nothing I need, and I'm, I'm pretty happy that it's not like actually legit and licensed, because if it was, I would probably end up picking it up, and I have nowhere to hang this, but that is pretty cool. I'm also pretty happy that I have no idea who Dwight Twilly is. I've never heard of Dwight Twilly. I don't think I've ever heard of any of these songs either. Co comments down below if I should know who Dwight Twilly is. You guys can let me know, but this is pretty awesome. It's an autographed record sleeve, also very nicely framed and matted. Yeah, I have no idea who, who that is. Andrew, Andrew knew who that was. Andrew was a big, big fan of Dwight Twilly. That is cool, that is awesome. But again, I have no idea who that is, so I'm gonna pass. All right, so I'm going through all the toys now, and unfortunately, I'm not finding any Vinylmations. I've been digging through here pretty good. I sadly don't see anything. They did have a, um, a Simba popcorn bucket, which is really cool, but no strap. So I guess for um, $6, I'm gonna pass. Also, does it really, does it really stand? Well, maybe it does, hold on. No, I guess it does stand up. That's kind of cool. I don't know. It's tempting to grab for our our popcorn bucket collection. We we kind of collect these, but at the same time, we kind of don't. Maybe I should see if Danielle wants this. I don't know. It's in pretty good condition, but like I said, no no straps. So I'm not 100% sure if we should be picking that up or not. Got a pop here of uh, that person from Star Trek Beyond. Gonna pass on that. And they had a, a kangaroo in a toilet, or on a toilet. Is that from a game? <laughs> that is weird. I'm gonna pass on the... Uh, the kangaroo on a toilet as well. So like I said, unfortunately no Vitalmations, but I don't know. That's kind of tempting. Oh, so uh, did you know that we already have the, the Simba popcorn bucket at home on the uh, the counters <laughs> in, in our popcorn bucket collection? I didn't, apparently. Yeah, I sent a picture to uh, Danielle. She's like, we already have that. Clearly when I'm in the kitchen, I don't look up enough because I did not realize we already have the uh, the Simba. So, all right, well, I mean, good, good news. We don't have to buy that now. I just saved myself $6. So, all right, well, like I said, unfortunately no Vinylmation. So I'm thinking the toy section, it's a bust. Well, we've gone from things that are really well matted, really well done, very nicely framed to, um, to just friends posters stuck in a, a frame that's clearly way too big for it. It's pretty funny to think that at one point somebody actually had this um, hanging on there, <laughs> hanging on their wall. They didn't even bother to like flip around the, uh, probably the, the picture that like came with the frame. You could just, you could flip it around. It would have been white. It would have looked at least a little nicer, almost like it was matted, kind of. That is funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on the, uh, the Friends poster for, I don't know what they're asking on this. I don't even see a price. Oh no, there we go, $10. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on on that. Friends is a pretty good show. I never like super got into Friends. I, I've seen the whole thing. It's pretty good, but not really worthy of a uh, of taking up wall space. Not that I have any wall space, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass on that. All right, so I'm thinking that's pretty much gonna do it for the Goodwill. I'm not really finding anything else I want to pick up. Happy with my finds though. I thought today was actually. I kind of thought today was maybe going to be a bust. I thought we were going to walk in here and maybe walk out finding nothing at all. But uh, the records, that is awesome. And finally getting a, um, a Blu-ray player for Sean's bedroom, if it, if it works. Hopefully it does. But I've been looking for one for a while. And for what was it, six bucks, five ninety nine, dollars with remote, it's a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm happy I came in here. Got some things I, I definitely wanted. But all right. With that, though, I think we are pretty much done. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. We're not quite done yet because Danielle did want these ears. I sent her a message and uh, she goes, are those legit? And I'm like, yeah, they, they are definitely 100% Disney licensed. These are legit, you could get these in the parks. So uh, for, for $9, she wants these. I kind of assume she would. Again, she's not a huge collector of the, um, like the ears, the, the ear hats, but this is unique. It is different, something I've never seen. I'm guessing something she's never seen before. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. And the ears are, are velvet, which is really neat. So all right, for, for nine bucks, I'm picking this up too. They do still have the Vinylmation I was looking at last week though, still priced a little bit higher than I'm wanting to pay. I don't know though, had, had I not found anything else today, would I have walked out of here with this? Maybe, it would have been tempting, but again, I just can't do the, um, what is that, like 30, $34.99 to $35. It's not a bad price. It goes for way more than that online, but I just don't really want to be paying $35 for, for that Vinylmation. I, I, I like it. I don't $35 like it. But again, had I not found anything else, maybe. 
All right, not bad, just under $20, $19.65 for all that. That is awesome. Under 20 bucks for a Blu-ray player with remote, some amazing records. I'm really, I'm, look, I'm gonna go home and pop those on the uh, the turntable immediately. The, uh, the, um, the cocktail and the, uh, I'm gonna get run over by a, by a car. And the Top Gun, definitely rock into those immediately when I get home. Pretty excited about uh, that. And a pair of ears for um, for Danielle. All in all, not not bad. The uh, the records, honestly, well, again, I was really looking for a, for a Blu-ray player for Sean, so that's pretty cool. But those records really made going in there, in my opinion, worth it. That was awesome. I was really bummed. I wasn't finding any Vinyl Masons, really bummed. I could not even find a single DVD or Blu-ray I wanted, but the uh, the records made up for all of that. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it from the Goodwill here in Winter Garden, Florida. So as always, thank you all so, so much. If your car's making sounds like that, you should probably take it into the shop. <laughs> hey guys, so again, that's gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts and also hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all of our videos. All that stuff helps support the show. It keeps the show going, so I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag highway to the danger zone. There you go, hashtag highway to the danger zone. So happy about those records. If you guys watch this video all the way and to the very end. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Like I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.